Good afternoon, everyone. It is three o'clock and uh, we are continuing our prayerful pause uh, where we are taking time to hold space in the midst of our very frantic, very uh, anxious lives um, given the pandemic, given our um, national turmoil, given just trying to survive the day intact, uh, taking this time to hold space with God, to hear God's word, to pray together, and to find just a place to plant our feet in the midst of what's going on. Uh, my apologies for not posting yesterday. Life sometimes gets going and we forget. And so yesterday was just a day of holding space in life for, for everything else. Today, I would encourage us to look at Romans chapter 12, verses 1 through 8. And Paul is writing a letter to the church in Rome um, about how, how is it that we live together as, as people of faith? How is it that we live together with people who are different than us? How do we live out um, and follow Jesus? And so this is from uh, the 12th chapter, verses 1 through 8 in Romans, and it reads like this. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is our spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God what is good and acceptable and perfect. For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members and not all the members have the same function, so we who are many are one body in Christ and individually we are members one of another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry in ministering, the teacher in teaching, the exhorter in exhortation, the giver in generosity, the leader in diligence, the compassionate in cheerfulness. Here ends the reading. What really strikes me about that passage is twofold. The first, early in the passage in verse 2, do not, uh, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed. And not just transformed, but transformed by the renewing of our minds in Christ Jesus. To be transformed because we are still going back to the well. We still are taking Sabbath with Jesus. We are still holding space for God's spirit to work and move and for us to hear. And so to not try to keep putting ourselves in these boxes that our world tells us we need to be in, but to be freed from those boxes and to allow the spirit of God to direct us, to guide us, to show us what is true and good and right. And the second thing that catches my attention is the fact that we are all interknit with one another, interconnected as with one body. Not everyone has the same gifts, but every gift is needed in order for the body to function, in order for the, the corporate community to be one, in order for the nation and the world to not spin on its own, but to spin together. And so I encourage us to think about how is it that our world tells us what we should do and what does God say about that? And how is it that God says to us that we are one? How do we live that out in the midst of community? It's a challenge. It's a hard thing. It doesn't come easy. But when it does, when we work together, when we allow God to transform our minds and our hearts and put us on a path together with one another, amazing things can happen. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we give you thanks that you have knit us together in the one body of Christ, into the community of faith, into this amazing world that you have created. Help us to strive, Lord, 
to care for one another, to care for ourselves, to care for this planet you've created, knowing that we are connected to one another. Lord, continue to transform our hearts and our minds as well. In those places where there is darkness and fear and anxiety, bring calm and peace and a light to show us where we need to go. Help us to not conform to this world, but to bear your light and love into, into this world in more powerful and meaningful ways, including in the simple ways of how we tend to our family and our friends and our coworkers and our church. Lord, be with us this day and teach us how to be your body in this world. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now may the peace of Christ that surpasses all understanding guard your hearts and my heart in Christ Jesus this day and always. Amen.